uh Okay, and still be able to get something of quality for a cheaper price. And the, the first one that a lot of us are aware is, the first one is cashback. So when you are buying any product, the first thing you want to look at it, if I'm buying a product from a website, do they have cashback? You know, and a lot of us, we are aware of top cashback. We are aware of um, uh, quit call, um, a lot of us are aware of the one in the US. Uh, can you uh, someone remind me? Um, um, I can't yeah. remember. Yeah, Oni, Oni, so Oni, yeah. So there are a lot of them like that that you can you can actually uh uh get cash back, and cash back means that when you spend money, you know you will be able to get uh, yeah rakutin. Thank you very much. You're gonna you'll be able to get part of the money back. So for example, uh, let me just uh, share my screen once again so that it can be more practical. Uh, okay. Struggling with sharing my screen right now. Okay, so let's use this. Oh no. Okay, so let's see. So we understand cashback so if i want to buy anything so okay so if i want to buy anything the first thing i do is to go to cashback and another thing that we also encourage if you can manage it if you cannot manage it don't go there if you can manage it it's also good to buy from your credit card as opposed to your debit card because you get a lot of benefit. But if you cannot manage it, please don't, don't go there. I don't know why I'm struggling sharing my screen today. Uh, maybe, let's see, let me try one more time. Yeah, Ibumi, thank you very much for, you know, encouraging the house to uh, work with, uh, with Adekola is been is is been very consistent, and I think I like that. Oh, I I'm struggling to share my screen today. Okay, Let's see what we can do. Just bear with me. Uh, okay, I'm there. So yeah, so the first thing is you go to cashback. So if you want to buy anything, Nike, let's say, Nike has cashback. If you want to buy Adidas, Adidas has cashback. Because a lot of us, we don't think about it. So if I go to Nike right now, I go to Nike, you know, let me see how much they are giving cashback. They are giving 13%. On cashback, yes, for some of us because we are new, we might uh, we are we've been shopping there. They might not give us up to thirty, so it's even ten percent for everyone. So for everyone, you get ten percent cashback. So the first thing is this: you get ten percent cashback, and I know another place that you can get another ten percent discount code on Nike. So let me see: if you are NHS worker, you're working with uh, the health care. If you type Nike you'll be able to get another 10% discount code, you know, on Nike. So at this another 10%, so you've saved 10%, you know, uh, discount code, you have 10% discount code, you have another 10%, you know, cash back, making 20%. And, uh, you know, a lot of them even applies to sale products. So for example, if they are doing sales 70%, you know, you might, get 10% discount code, 10% cash back. And at the end of the day, maybe you get the product for like, you, you've been able to save like 80%. And if you are not NHS worker, there are several ways that you can find discount code. So if you go to Google, just type, get discount code, discount code, Nike. Let's see. So there are a lot of platforms that can give you discount code. So you could see here, I like this uh, or whatever. So you can check it out and see if you could get discount code. So the first thing you need to think about is how can I get, you know, a good pro quality product 
for a cheaper for 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 as a for a reasonable price and that is number one you know you see a lot of people wearing a nice clothes and you're like okay i, I want to live that life but a lot of them they buy it for eighty percent discount. Why do you want to buy it for a hundred original uh, price? You know, and it's always good to look at sale. Let's look at uh, what we call uh, Zara. You know, a lot of people they go to Zara, they shop, and they are like, oh, some people say their product is quite expensive, but I know people that buy it for a very cheap price as well. So they go to their sale. Um, they go to their sale. I think they they let me see if I can get any sale product just to try and go to their sale product and they buy what you what a lot of people will buy for let's say 50 pounds some people buy it for 9.99 you know and that is how to how to shop around so let me see if i can see very quickly now it's eating because they have they are trying to hand the sale so let's see uh okay if I can't open this one, I'll just ignore it. So I can move forward. A lot of things to touch on today. Okay, let me try view. Okay. Oh, if I, I didn't believe Lola is available, it would have been, been there to help me. Okay, I will leave this one, but I know that a lot of them, a lot of products that you know you buy for high price right now is quite uh, quite cheap at the moment 9.99 7.99 the sale is eating but it's still going on but because of time i wouldn't want to waste time on on, on that so uh, i will leave that one so when you are shopping around even if you are doing uh uh what do we call it um uh your grocery as well you can look at sainsbury check whether or not they have cash back you can get uh uh you can be able to reduce you know some amount of money you know, from, from, from scenes as well. And that's uh, where you can do your, your grocery. Bear with me. Uh, so there are several ways that you can, you can reduce, you know, your cost. And if you are traveling as well, so for example, I bought uh, a flight today, uh, uh, this week, and I was able to, hello, can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so even yeah. if you are traveling, you're going to, you are using, let's say, British Airways, you know, a lot of us, we won't even think that British Airways is giving cash back. They give, they give cash back. So they give you 3% of whatever you spend, you know, and I believe that Virgin, Virgin, uh, let's see, Virgin Atlantic is also doing that. So a lot of them also give cash back, you know, and this is very important. Another one that I would uh, like us to, okay, before I jump to that one, a lot of us, we love cars. Some of us, we love cars a lot. But do you know that if you buy a car that is less than three years new, less than three years, you are likely to buy it like half of the price. If you buy a brand new car, Within three years, you, you don't need to do what we call MOT in the UK. You don't need to do MOT. You don't need to do anything. But after three years, it need to, uh, the car needs to pass what we call road test, road, whatever, road worthiness. But within three years, you don't need to do that. But as soon as it's after three years, most of the time, the car would drop, let's say, like half of the price. And I'll show you an example. Let's go to Auto Trader. And that is why, yes, I like it, but uh, there was a time I was thinking, oh, let's go for Tesla, this and that. But I thought about it. Ah, in three years, this thing will drop from, let's say, 40,000 to 20,000. Oh, I was like a bit, yeah, but you know, sometimes you need to treat yourself. But I was like, no, not now. I don't want to do it now. You know, so let's look at Tesla. Let's look at Tesla. And uh, let's see. If you go to Tesla itself. So, okay, let's let's do it this way. Let's do, let's do it this way. If we do Tesla, let's go to Tesla itself. We do Tesla. Okay. I think I'm in Model Y. Let me change it to another model. Let's see Model 3. 
test the model 3. So if we do Tesla model 3, right now, if I want to order Tesla model 3, it's going to be how much? Okay. So the rear range is 39,000, almost 40K. The long range is like almost 50,000, let's say 50K. And the performance all wheel is 60,000. Let's go to Auto Trader. That's 2024. If we go to Auto Trader and I want to buy this car, uh, let's see, Model 3. Let's use the same model. Okay. Let me just do, let's do it this way. So I'm going to change the, uh, see, can you see one? Can you see this one? 2020. 17,500 and 2020. You know, this one is, I think this one might have, this one has even, this one is five years ago, 11,000. 2020, 16,000. 2020, 18,000. For some of us, we love Lexus. Let's try Lexus before we stop this one. Can you see the price? Can you see? So let's even go to 2021, three years. 2021, yeah. So let's see. Let's see. Okay, let me start from 2021. So I started from 2021. Can you see that? 16,000. Yes, the mileage has gone up. But I can, I, let me see if we can get a, even a better mileage. This one, 53,000. It's not bad at all, you know, for electric car. 43,000 uh, 43, miles, 22K. And I'm buying new for that kind, that amount of money. You know? And it's just one, one owner. Just one owner. So look at the difference. The difference is, is and three years flies. Let's look at Lexus. Some of us, we love, we really love Lexus. We are going to look at brand new one and we're going to look at, um, uh, and if you buy a property, you know, okay, don't let us go to that. Uh, <laughs> don't let us go to that because some people will say, this guy is too partial. He's always talking about property. So let me just rest my case. Uh, Lexus, let's do Lexus. Can you see Lexus? Uh, Lexus 2021. Can you see that? It's how much? 18,000. 14,000 mileage. One owner. This one is even fully electric. You know? Can you see? 18,000. 29,000 mileage. Let me now jump to 2024. Let me do 2024. Brand new. Can you see the difference? Can you see the difference? Let's see. Let's see. This one is showing... Let's see, this one is not fully brand new. So this one is not bad, you know, but the one that will come out in September in, okay, this one, can you see 34K? We have 45,000. This one is brand new. No, yes, you can see. No, uh, what do we call it? Mileage, 45K. So look at, look at the difference. The difference is too much. Does it really worth it? You know, sometimes you want to treat yourself you know, but when we are in like, um, we are still in a stage of, you know, developing or increasing our networks and you will be so shocked that even the wealthy people, if they want to buy brand new, maybe they buy vintage car that will not lose value, you know, and, you know, so, so we need to understand how we can live a you know, a quality life. Because if you buy a 2021, everything still works well, very well. You know, so we can live a quality life and not, uh, and still like get it for like a discount, you know, to some extent. So that's for people that love cars. Let me jump to something else. Um, Let's look at this. I mentioned this earlier, sometimes ago, about uh, uh, what we call shopping behe. And this applies in the U.S. as well. I think it applies uh, uh, American hairline as well. So if you are if you are in the U.S., you can do use that. If you are in the U.K., you can use British Airways as well. So if I want to buy anything in Sainsbury, Sainsbury, 
This is Sainsbury Grocery. I'm going to get 1,200 Avios when I shop. What is Avios? Avios is actually a point that is given to you, especially when you, most of the time when you, you, you travel, maybe you cover mileage, you know, you will be given what we call Avios. Some people call it mileage, you know, and you can use it to travel, you know, uh, anytime when you have a lot of it. So when you are, uh, maybe you are, in, uh, you want to shop your grocery, you want to shop your clothing, you want to also travel, it's always good to use your Avios. And how can you get Avios? You can get Avios by shopping on maybe British, uh, you can say shopping BH. You can get Avios from other platform, American uh, Hairline. Uh, you can get Avios from, from them as well. You can get Avios from, um, from uh, uh, your American Express. Credit card, you can get Avios. And have done my calculation. For me, because I noticed that, you know, I used to like change my Avios to cash. But I noticed right now that I'm actually doing my, I, I'm not doing myself a favor because um, um, my Avios, if I use it to travel and I pay with Avios, it makes more sense than if I change it to cash. And this is the calculation. If you have a thousand Avios and you want to change it to cash, you will get £4.50 for every 1,000 Avios. Four pound fifty. So these are the ways you can you can you can transfer your avios. You can transfer your avios to British Airways. You can transfer it to Asia Airways, Delta Airways, Emirates. You can transfer it to Marriott. So you can use it for your hotel when you travel, and you can see all the airline Qatar, you know, Virgin uh, Atlantic, and and so so on and so forth. But if I change that uh, my avios, which is a thousand avios. To cash, I'm going to get £4.50. And this is where I'm going to shock us. If I want to buy a 1,000 Avios, this is how much I'm going to buy 1,000 Avios. I'm going to buy 1,000 Avios for £24.50. Because I'm buying 2,000 Avios for £49. So if I want to buy a 1,000 Avios, I'm going to buy it for £24.50. But if I change my 1,000 Avios on American Express to cash, I'm going to get £4.50. Which one is, makes more sense? It's better for me to change it to Avios. I remember sometimes ago, was it two, three years ago, we had over 500,000 pound Avios. And when I wanted to buy a Nigerian flight of 2,500 pound, we had to use, no, 2,600 like pound, but we had to use all our Avios to buy it because it was like 0.5, you know, when we change it to, to when we use it to buy, uh, uh, to, when we converted it, you know? So we like, we, 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 we didn't get all the benefit that we were supposed to get. But today I'm going to show us how the, the benefits of, of the avias. I actually kept this till today. You know, I've told Bumi that, oh, I wanted to buy tickets. But I say it would be nice for us to, you know, show the house how it works. And, you know, a lot of us, we travel abroad and we are looking for a way to travel cheap, you know, and still get quality. You know, um, I, if I want to buy like a Nigerian flight, so let's say I'm traveling and I want to buy a flight um, to, let's say, Abuja or Lagos, depending. So if I want to buy this flight now, I'm, yeah, so we are still in how to, you know, reduce our expenses, you know, looking for opportunity, getting points, and we can still live a quality life and still reduce our expenses. So for example, if I want to travel from London to Abuja, so let's say Abuja, and uh, I'm traveling as a family, so let's say I'm traveling in, uh, let's say April. Let's just uh, choose one, uh, choose one, and uh, let's choose this. So I put four people, because, uh, okay, so let's put four people. So if I want to travel, 
I'm likely to get my ticket for this amount of money if I choose. Okay, let me choose a uh, 23 kg and uh, let me choose this as well. Uh, so I'm likely to pay, let's see how much I'm going to pay. I'm likely, I'm going to pay 3,152 pounds, 36 P. Notes. If I want to pay this in cash, this is how much I will pay. Note this, please. If I want to use part of my avios to pay, I'm going to pay 900, I'm, I'm going to use, let's say I have 200 and, can you see my avios? 233 avios. So I'm going to use 228 avios to pay and it will only knock off how much? 916. It will only knock off 916. That means I'm going to top up with over 2,000 pounds if I'm using if I'm using this strategy. Can you see? The, please note the difference. And if you don't understand, when you accumulate avios and you want to travel, I'm quite happy to put us through. Please. So instead of using the whole avios and top up with 2,000 plus to buy, this is the strategy I'm going to use. I have another platform called shopping.ba.com. And this was the strategy I used a few years ago. Lost a lot of money and I was quite happy because I thought I've saved a lot of money. And that is the power of information. But if I'm using this strategy, this is what I'm going to do. I've accumulated avios and I've I, I've explained how we can accumulate avios. When you shop around, you accumulate avios. So you could see, I shop in All Beauty, I accumulated these avios. I shop in Severages 240, I accumulated 2,880 uh, avios. If I want to buy 2,880 2, avios, I'm buying it for like almost 50 something pounds because 2,000 avios is 49 pounds. So I bought a product 240, I've been able to save 50 pounds. Can you see that? I've saved money from this already. A, a source as well, you save money uh, from there. And a lot of them like that. So I've been able to accumulate a lot of heaviors. I transfer some from my American Express point. But if I want to buy ticket right now, this is how I'm going to buy. So instead of going through this route, this is what I'm going to do. See, almost the same route, but see the difference. Okay. So instead, so what I would do is this. I would do it this way. I will go to book, book a flight with Avios. This is the difference. Book a flight with Avios instead of going to this place. So I'll click book a flight with Avios. And it's always good to look at it because flight with Avios is not always available, but most of the time you should be able to see. So let me, the same thing, I'm doing the same thing. From London to Abuja. Okay. Abuja, Nigeria. Same date. But return. Same date. So just note that. Two adults, two children, and get a flight. And see the difference. We are almost done. Just bear with me. And if, or if you have any question, please continue to put it down so that we can we have opportunity for question. And because we can actually live a, a, a quality life, you know, and get good things and still uh, get it for a very good price. So this is the same fly. So I'm choosing, let me choose this. One. Okay. My... And uh, Bridge to London. Okay, so I choose this. Okay, almost done. See the difference. Can anyone see the difference? I'm using 220,000 avios, and I'm only topping up 320 pounds. As opposed to this one. I will use 228,700 avios 
knock off 916 and top up 2000 plus. I'm getting the same service for different amount of money. So if I want to buy this right now, the only thing I'm going to put there is the only money I'm going to pay is to 320. I would have loved to buy it now, but because of our time, I would uh, stop here. But that is the difference. So if we are talking about saving money, you can save money in a different way and you can also uh, live a quality life. If you make a lot of money, you can buy a brand new car. In the, U in the UK, if you make a lot of money, you make a lot of profits, you can buy a brand new electric car and it will be taken out as company expense. But you need to make good amount of money and you need to also speak to your accountant. So you get a brand new car. If it's not going to affect your company a lot and you don't want to pay a lot of tax, you can do that. If you are renting, you can pay your house rent from your company. So there are several ways. If you, uh, if you go out, you travel, you take your family out, you can, you can claim it as maybe strategic meeting, you know, but you have to justify it and try not to lie. You know, so maybe if, if they are part of your business, maybe you employ your, your wife and this and that, find a way to talk about business anyways, <laughs> so that at least it will be in record. So there are several ways that we can save a lot of money and we know about only as well we know about what we call price blink and if you don't know you can start writing it down only price blink top cash back and a lot of it like that that we can save money from and our another key one is our uh your credit card as well getting points and um i also noticed that even the way if you if you shop in most uh, sh uh, shops, they also give you points. Like Arots, they give points. Avinico, they give points. Uh, uh, Court Beauty gives points. And you can use that point to buy, you know, another uh, more products. And I think I will stop here so that we can have opportunity uh, for question and uh, any contribution. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to share my experience. Anybody in the house that is willing to share or question? Well, uh, I'm always eager to share. Uh, when you were, when you started this conversation, 